URL Shortener is the most powerful tool for creating beautiful short URLs, and it's a free plugin from mythemeshop.com. You can hide affiliate links, share long links on social media, and make your URLs easy to remember. It's fast, powerful, and perfect for getting more clicks and better engagements. What's more, it's also really easy to use. You can install the plugin straight from your WordPress dashboard and then set up your links using this convenient management. You can add in new links, easily choosing where these redirect to and what is to be redirected. You can choose between three types of redirection, 301 permanent and then 302 and 307 temporary. And you can even replace certain URLs or text in posts or pages dynamically. So here if I enter the plugin URL, every time this is used, it will be replaced with the short link or every time I use the phrase URL shortener, we can make that automatically linked up to the short link as well. And doing this is great for using affiliate links. With the link added, you can add that in using just this regular code, a short link, short code, or even just regular HTML. With the advanced link tools, you can add in a link title, choose the default anchor text, choose whether to open links in new windows or new tabs, add rel equals no follow to prevent search engines from following your links. You can forward parameters in order to forward the get parameters added to your URL, which might be used for things such as Google Analytics tracking. And you can also remove any referrers, which you can use to hide where your traffic has come from. You've got these links available on a per link basis as well as for the whole plugin. So here you can set global settings used for any new links. As well as that, you can manage your links using categories. And as you saw earlier, you can manage your URLs all from one place. Before we start, if you head to mythemeshop.com slash WordPress 101, then you're gonna find a full library of detailed video tutorials showing you um, some basic WordPress concepts and how to do some of the things that we'll be including in today's video. You'll also find WordPress 201, which is some advanced WordPress tutorials, and you can watch all of these for free at mythemeshop.com slash WordPress 101. So once you've checked those out, then head over to your WordPress dashboard and we can get started with the plugin installation. To do this, we're going to want to go to plugins and then click add new and then just do a search on the top right here for URL shortener. Hit return and WordPress is going to look up the WordPress plugin repository and then we're gonna find the URL shortener by my theme shop. You can press install now and WordPress will download that onto your site. And once that's installed, you just need to activate. Plugins now going to be running on your site and on the left hand side, you're going to find a new menu item, which is short links. You can click this to be taken to the short links dashboard and here you can control all of your links. You're gonna find you've got options to add new and manage any links in here. You can set different categories to, to organize your links and you also have some settings down at the bottom as well. Here you're going to find some options which can be selected by default for new links. You can of course also change these on a link by link basis later on. So let's have a look at what the default options are. The first is the redirection method. Now there are three types of, of redirection type that you can have with the URL shortener plugin. And the different types correspond to the different types of links. So we have 302 and 307, which are temporary redirects. And these will tell any visitors to the website, including your browser and also search engines, that the redirection is temporary. 302 is used for redirects for undefined reasons. It tells the visitor to the website that you should not automatically go to the new URL, you should come to the current URL, and then um, we will push you forward to the new one if necessary. 307 is similar, it does the same thing. It tells the visitor to come to the current URL and then we'll push you to the new URL but it also says that the new URL may revert to the old URL in the future. So for these two, the um, Google link juice, the SEO gains from your site are not passed on with these links. You can also achieve this by adding a nofollow, um, but we'll cover that later. 301 then is a permanent redirect. And what this says is that the resource has moved permanently and you should now always go to the new URL in future. 
this will retain the SEO link juice um, unless you have the nofollow link. So you can also change whether links open in new windows or new tabs by default, whether you have nofollow. Um, so this will tell search engines not to follow the link for SEO purposes. So not to pass on your site's link juice as it's called if you have this on. So you might want to have that if you want to um, very carefully protect your SEO benefits. Um, but that's something to look into in more detail before deciding whether to use it. You can tick this box to forward get parameters from the short link to the destination URL. This refers to anything added on the end of the URL to add extra parameters. That's typically done with a question mark and then some code. This might be something such as Google Analytics tracking, which is going to tell you which campaign, or it might be related to social media. So if you have this ticked, that's going to make sure all of those are added on as well. You can also add rel equals no refer it to your link and no refer a meta tag for the short link redirection page. Now make sure that the page you're sending to doesn't know where the traffic came from, so they don't have a referrer. You can also change the default link preview type, so whether that's URL, shortcode, or HTML link. For each of those, you can set them as you like, but as I mentioned, also change them later on. Um, I'm just going to disable a couple of those um, and then save my changes. So those are the default settings to have a look at with the URL Shortener plugin. And once you've set those up, you're ready to start adding your own links. Now, if you've been using the Pretty Link Lite or Pretty Link Pro plugins, then from that same settings page, you're going to find a new tab, which is import. And here you can import your link created with either of those plugins for use with the URL Shortener plugin. You can see the number of links to import. So here I've got three links can be imported as well as have the option to import your groups as link categories. Um, so that's just transferring the different way that the plugins handle groups um, as now categories. You can also import unsupported redirection types and just choose any of those. So I'll set those to 301 permanent. You can start that import and that's going to be completed in just a moment for you. Once that's done, you can head over to short links. And you can now see I've got those three links added. The first one going to the My Theme Shop Twitter account, second to the My Theme Shop affiliate program, and then the third one going to the homepage for the URL shortener plugin. So I'm just going to remove these links um, and we can then get started on the rest of the setup for the URL shortener plugin. So now to add in a new link, you want to go to add new. For this example, I'm going to add in a short link for mythemeshop.com slash tweet. And then we're going to redirect that to um, sharing a link on Twitter. I've already got this code added in, so I'm just going to paste in a redirect to, see that goes to twitter.com slash tweet. And then we're going to say, you've got the free URL shorten the plugin by my theme shop with a link to the plugin. We're going to tell search engines that this is a 307 temporary redirect um, because we might revert this to a, a different URL in the future. We can then add in a category if we'd like to. So um, I'll just put social in there, add that in, and then add the link. So now the link's added, and if we visit that link, just follow that link up there, you're going to see we're automatically taken to that page on Twitter where we can share that link with our followers now and also the HTML code um, that you can copy as well. So that's adding in and viewing just a simple link redirect. You can change any of these once you're done. For example, change the redirection method um, and just in case of going to update link. You'll see there are some also some extra bits here which are replacements and we'll look at that by adding in a new link here. So I'm gonna add in a second link. For this one, we're going to redirect mythemeshop.com slash shortener to the mythemeshop.com plugin page for URL shortener. And this is going to be a permanent redirect. We're also going to set this up using these replacement fields so that um, when we have a specific URL or a specific keyword that's already inserted into posts or pages, this will replace those links with the shortened URL or link up the keywords with the shortened URL. This will do that on the fly um, when the content is displayed to the visitor. So I could, for example, add in just the um, 
same URL, so mytheanshop.com slash plugins slash URL dash shortener. It's gonna take you to the URL shortener. So wherever we have that link, we would now replace that with the short link. We can add in as many as we would like. Um, so if say there was an old version of this, um, we could do it like that. So that they all go to the same place. We could also add the keywords. So if we want to have URL shortener, um, we could add that in, or we could add URL shortener plugin as well. So whenever either of those URLs came up or either of those keywords came up, the URLs would be redirected to the short link. So mythemeshop.com slash shortener and the keywords would be linked up to mythemeshop.com slash shortener. So let's just um, remove those extra ones um, because we don't need those and press add link in order to add that in. And let's now have a look at the advanced tab. Here we control the extra settings that you remember we set up earlier. You can set the title attribute for the link. So we might set this to URL shortener free WordPress plugin. You can set the default anchor text for the link when the shortcode is used without link text. So if you're using the shortcode up here, um, just change that and then copy the shortcode. You can set the default anchor text. So we'll set this to URL shortener. Choose whether to open a new window to have the nofollow link, forward parameters or remove referrer. So I want to have all of those off. So you can set those and then update once again. So now if we were to grab the short code here, um, you'll see we've got that text by default, but if we just use the, the short code without that text in it, then that will add that in automatically. I'll just show you how that works in action. So if we just go to a post, um, you'll see I've just got some regular demo content in here. So if we just add in just the short link there um, and then preview that, you're gonna see that um, this is just some demo content and we can now click on that link. And it's going to redirect us to the plugin page for the URL shortener. Because I've got that keyword replacement going on as well, we actually don't even need the shortcode there. So if we um, just update that again, you'll know, see we've now got um, just without the link in, in the post, but the plugin is replacing that on the fly. So if we now click that again, it's gonna take us to the, the URL shortener. So that's how um, quickly and easily you can add in the content using either the keyword replacement, using the short code, or you can just copy the HTML code here. So that's adding in links. You'll see that we've got the link URL. So that's mythemeshop.com slash shortener. It's gonna take you to the um, plugin page, also on mythemeshop.com. And then we've got um, slash tweet is going to take us to share that on Twitter. You'll note you can also count the number of clicks on each link, which is a nice feature, especially if you're doing affiliate tracking. So a popular usage for this plugin would be to say, replace all uses of my theme shop on your site with your my theme shop affiliate code, for example. You can find details about that with the 70% referral commission at mythemeshop.com slash affiliate dash program. Otherwise then that's everything you need to know about adding in your own short links using the URL shortener plugin. So as we've seen, this is an incredibly easy to use plugin for hiding affiliate links, sharing long URLs and creating short URLs and short links in the process. It's perfect for social sharing. And um, as you've seen, we have complete customization and control. If you do have any queries, then you can find us at community.mythemeshop.com and our support team will be more than happy to help out. Otherwise, I hope this video has been helpful. Enjoy your URL shortener and thank you very much for watching.